Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, how to convert a Java GUI programming uh, application to an applet program. Uh, why I'm showing you uh, just to convert? Uh, because we have um, since we have learned the topic GUI first, so uh, it's very easy to convert the program into an applet. Uh, as for the code or the features for GUI are the same. So in this uh, video, we'll not cover uh, writing the HTML file and uh, run from the browser, uh, but I will show you how to run using Applet Viewer. Okay, before we go on, uh, please uh, refer to our lab 8, um, example number 2. I'm going to use uh, this example. So make sure you have the lab with you. Uh, may, uh, read the questions and make sure you have tried to run the code okay because uh, this is a application program so i'm going to use the same code and i will change it into a an applet program okay uh, once you uh, watch this video um, i'm going to set a questions uh, in mmls for you to answer and you can refer to the notes also okay the title of the exercise is uh, exercise on applet okay student uh, this is uh, lab 8 example number 2 um, you please uh, read the question uh, this question is come from uh, final January 2010 okay uh, this is the questions and this is the output of the uh, program okay uh, it's a very uh, direct question you can see here uh, user enter the distance in feet and then we will choose uh, based on a uh, radio button and the answer will come out uh, in a, a text field okay uh, as i said just now uh, make sure you read the question first and i have provided the solution so this is the full code uh, to get this output Okay, so the, 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 the code or the programs that we write here is actually in an application program. So what we are going to do is we are using this, the same code, the same question. So by write, you will get the same output, but we will write the program as an applet program. Okay, class, so this is the program um, that I already um, write down. Uh, in the uh, NetBean, okay. So this is an application program. So you can see this is a normal one that we have learned before in the previous chapters. Uh, the class name I put it here at a speed sound extend J frame. Okay, now we I'll show you the output first. Okay, let's run it. Run. Okay, this is the output of application program. How do you want to know that this is the application program? As you can see, application, we have a title here and normally we'll have uh, this. Okay, so this is the application. It run well, supposedly. Okay, you can see the answer is changing based on the uh, radio button. Okay, so now our objective is to write this code or to change this code into an applet program. So first thing, um, I will copy this first and we'll create another file. Okay, choose empty Java file because I just want to copy. Okay, so I will name this code um, with applet speed sound. So I know this is a program with Apple. Actually, you can name it with anything. Okay. Uh, when you are writing a Java program, it's still .java. Okay. It's not a new language. It's still .java. Only we write it in a applet program. Okay. Click here. All right. We paste here. Okay. Now I want to change the code into a applet program. So. I need to change the class name first. All right. Okay. First thing is, since we are we are going to 
write this one as a applet so we need to extend j applet so change the j frame into an applet okay so this is number one um, okay all right so number one extend j applet so you know that uh, j applet is actually um, a class that is the same group as a container okay meaning that this class can hold other components j applet is come from a, a package a java x swing so since i already wrote here as a asterisk so i'm not going to add another one okay all right so number one again i repeat number one uh, the program extends j applet no longer j frame because we want to write this code or to run this code as an applet program okay that is number one number two you can see there is a main method right before this so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the main method so number two remove main method why because applet doesn't have main method so we are going to remove the main method now the third one is this since we don't have the main method so we do not need any constructor here so again what we have to do is we have to remove the constructor here and we will replace it with method override method of applet which is we call void init okay so i write here replace number three replace the constructor with init method okay all right so all these are your code normal code same thing no matter what are the questions uh, the component the layout the event still the same so that's it so now save okay now this is program this program already changed into an applet program how do you want to know you check it's supposed to extend jframe okay i already save it and compile so there's no error now we're going to run it let's take a look how to run the applet program now in the netbin already have um one um uh, embedded program we call applet weaver is actually a program to run the uh, applet it's it will uh, helps uh, it helps the programmer to run uh, or to check the applet okay how to run same thing control s to save and compile and then run okay now this is how the applet looks like okay now uh, because i'm using a default um, html file or because i'm running using the applet viewer so means that it will use a default size the default size for um, this applet is uh, 350 times 200 so it looks different with our original output because in application we can uh, manipulate the size uh, in applet we still can manipulate the size but you have to write the html file now this is to show you that you are running the applet program this program using applet viewer you can see the title here change into applet viewer applet uh, speed sound this is your class name okay and this one we know that actually we are running the applet program okay this one is auto it's not uh, j label and uh, same goes to this one to show you that this is applet okay uh, so it works same okay all right when we click here it should be out the according to the program okay so this is an applet um, uh, program okay all right uh, let's see the output to see the difference between the application program 
and the viewer okay uh, i can adjust the size to be the same like this all right you can see it's quite same and the different here is for the application you can change the title but for the applet if you run using applet viewer it come out with the class name and then you can see there is an applet here and applet started because we are using applet viewer uh, this is not part of the code this is not the component the it's not the gui component it's not j label this is also not g label okay the rest of the code are the same so i believe you can write the program or you can answer assignment to already uh, with the with an app uh, as a applet program okay so class as conclusion to write a ui program as an applet whatever we had learned in chapter 7 chapter 8 chapter 9 will be the same thing for the applet okay just a few things that you need to um uh, uh, a few things that you need to change or uh, write in a different way okay so let's see the conclusion here number one instead of in extend j frame you are extending the j applet and then the j applet also come from the same package with other gui component which is java x swing all right now um, the important one number two is applet program does not have main method so for if you are writing a code um, using uh, I mean you want to write the code as an applet you don't have to write the main method what you have to use is there are four uh, four void method uh, in um, uh, what in applet okay that you have you can override and uh, for, for this uh, purpose we use the uh, init method and to create the components to add into the layout to to do the um uh, 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 the same function as the application program it's the same way uh, you are writing the code in the, in the constructor for the application program okay so number two three how we want to run we we can run two ways actually you can refer to my notes we can run using html file i mean you can run using the browser or we want to fast um uh, want to check our program we can run using applet weaver applet weaver is already embedded in the uh, compiler okay um so uh the important things that i want to emphasize here um again uh, in order for you to write uh, applet program it's actually the same what we have uh, learned uh, in uh, chapter 7 8 and 9 uh, we will be implementing the same thing apply the same thing when you want to write a gui program as an application or as an applet okay thank you